So if you've been thinking about getting an e-bike or maybe you're just interested in e-bikes, or maybe you really wanna step it up a notch and get a mountain bike version in an e-bike. Well, today we're gonna to look at the Giant Stance 1 in the E+. Plus. Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a really cool bike on loan to us today from our good friends at Truly Spoken. Mark and the crew down there let me borrow this bike to take out and review, and let me tell you, this thing has been a blast. I have had so much fun on this, but it's a completely different animal than anything I've ever tried before. All right, so I am brand new to riding e-bikes. I've never ridden an e-bike before, so in order to review this bike properly, I wanted to be able to go ride in the places that I typically go ride. And so there's different types. For example, I like to ride on the road. So I went and rode on one of our local trails that it's paved, it's a great place to ride. I also like to ride mountain bike trails. So I took it to some of our local single track to try it out on that. I also like to ride in gravel. Here in uh, this area, we've got the Blackwater State Forest and it's some of the best riding there is. And so I took it out on a nice ride there. And then of course, my typical workout ride that I just do around in the neighborhood. So I wanted to try all those different things to really get a feel of how this bike performs, how it feels, and what it's capable of. And having done that, let me tell you, this bike is awesome. And I'm not saying that just because I'm reviewing this bike. It really is an awesome bike. It's awesome for several different reasons. Uh, one of the reasons is just the the integration that Giant has done with the technology of the electric motor and the bikes that they make and everything that goes into it, it works seamlessly, flawlessly. So let me tell you some of the things about this bike. And we're gonna start with what I always call a regular guy's review. I'm not a professional racer. I'm not a professional bike guy at all. I'm just an average guy like you who loves to ride in different ways. And in this case, a mountain bike. So with that being said, let's start with the aesthetics. Now, when I say aesthetics, I'm talking about how it looks and how it rides. That seems to be the first thing that anybody wants to know about a bike. And so first and foremost, this bike looks great. I mean, considering an, an e-bike and the way that it's made, you can't deny the fact that this thing is really built nice. And I love this color, this desert sage. I have a a giant Rome that's a very similar to this color. You start with the hydroformed aluminum, a Lux frame that Giant is so well known for, and then all the components and the way it all flows together, the integration of the motor, as well as the entire geometry and layout is just a great looking bike. And this thing is very comfortable, very surprising as to the way that it feels as far as the ride. All right, so let's take this bike for a ride and see how it feels and how it performs out on the trail. So probably the major difference that I noticed in riding an e-bike versus riding a regular bike is the pedal assist, the torque that you get with all the power in there. For example, riding through sand like I'm riding right here is hardly any effort at all compared to when I ride this on my regular bike. Uh, it takes a lot more energy. The pedal assist just powers right through the sand. And of course, the biggest power assist that you get is on hills. We went out to the Blackwater State Forest and we rode several roads that had a lot of good hills. We found a couple that were extremely steep. There's no way I would have been able to climb those hills on my own with as much ease. The interesting thing was 
Because of the geometry of this bike, I was able to climb them seated. And that's because you have this longer wheelbase and it's more stable. And you just put the power down and you just pedal and up the hill you go. It's amazing. All right, guys, let's talk about the components of this bike. And of course, if you're talking about an e-bike, you got to start with the motor. This is Yamaha's Sync Drive Sport Motor. This thing has 70 Newton meters of torque in it. That's a lot of torque and you can really feel it. So just by comparison, the average racing cyclist puts out between 318 to 400 watts or 31 Newton meters of torque. This bike has 500 watts of power and 70 Newton meters of torque. And of course you can't have an e-bike without an energy source. And so Giant has integrated their Smart Energy Pack 625 inside the bike. This is a 36 volt lithium ion battery. Now the motor is paired with a SRAM group set. Up front you have a 38 tooth narrow wide chain ring with 165 millimeter cranks. And then in the back you have an 11 to 50 tooth SRAM cassette with a SRAM SX Eagle derailleur. And this is paired with SRAM's SX Eagle EMTB click shifters that are very comfortable thumb shifters, which allow you to keep your fingers on the brakes at all times. Now the entire e-bike system is controlled by Giant's ride control system and app. Now Giant's ride control app is wonderful and has a lot of features to it. Uh, too much to share on this review, so I'm going to make a separate video on that and I'll put a link to it in the description if you'd like to check out a deep dive of that app. Alright, so now let's talk about the suspension on this bike. The rear suspension is RockShox Monarch RT high volume shock that has 120 millimeters of suspension. It is custom tunable with dampening adjustments and a lockout, all integrated with Giant's FlexPoint frame suspension system, which complements the shock. Up front, you have RockShox Recon Silver RL fork with 130 millimeters of travel. It is EMTB optimized and has a lockout, air and dampening adjustments. And in my experience, this suspension combination gave me a lot of confidence on the trails and was certainly capable of handling any roots or drops and jumps on the trail, even though this bike weighs around 60 pounds. So let's take a look at the brakes and the handling of this bike. The Giant Stance comes with Shimano's MT420 four-piston hydraulic disc brake calipers and massive 203 millimeter rotors, which are perfect for stopping this heavier bike. These are paired with Shimano's MT401 brake levers. Now these are mounted on giant 780 millimeter connect trail handlebars that I found to be more than sufficient for control and stability. The Giant Stance E Plus is also equipped with a great wheel set. Let's take a look at the tires and rims and hubs. This bike comes with Maxxis Recon 29 by 2.4 EXO tubeless ready tires mounted on Giant's XCT 25 millimeter rims that are tubeless ready and called E-Bike Optimized. Now these are based off of their giant e-tracker sport hubs and so in the front you have a 110 millimeter boost hub with a 15 millimeter through axle and in the rear a 141 millimeter hub with a quick release through axle. And these also have heavy duty stainless steel spokes so the entire system is very rugged. The seat on the stance is giant sport custom saddle that I found to be one of the most comfortable saddles I've ever ridden. I rode it with bike shorts and without bike shorts. And even after several hours, I had no soreness. And so this is one of Giant's best saddles. And it's mounted on Giant's contact dropper post. Well guys, there you have it. The Giant Stance One in the E Plus, the e-bike version. This is a great bike. And I hope this review has helped you in your decision making whether or not you're looking at this bike. And if you happen to live in the North Florida area and you're looking for an e-bike, be sure and go by and visit our friends at Truly Spoken. They'll take good care of you. You'll get good quality service and good quality bikes.